because he's greedy, he's a thief. Titi egbo baba mo badi ati mo badi fe baba mo badi ati egbo baba mo badi fe lo lo se so pe ka ba lo so do bere kete lati jo e te mi so pe mo listen si won ase won ti mo pe ka ba lo so do bere kete ko se to ma dawo fun won mo ko se to ma fun olowo to ma fi sapape mo gbogbo nkan to se refuse bere kete lati jo yen so pe ma ti mo so fun yin gbogbo yin so e so pe why is he refusing bere kete ase won ni skeleton nu cupboard ni I think Boba's father needs to address the press or look for a means or a way to address all of this allegation. It is becoming too troubling. The latest update is this. Mubad's uh, father's new lawyer, according to what we are getting now, and um, also Mubad's... Uh, father's uh, cousin domiciled in the u.s it seems there are certain things that they are kind of privy to there are certain things that they know and they are concluding that justice for mobad should come to an end they want to settle it within themselves as a family unit i repeat again justice for mobad to be settled as a family unit but unfortunately, I kind of um, think there is something fishy. Um, because right now, the talk is this. Mubaz's father and Wumi should be petitioned together. They should come to tell us what happened to Mubad. Because um, there was a time that uh, Wumi, the wicked widow, said, If I tell you things between myself and Mubaz's father, you will be shocked. In fact, if I tell you everything, you will stone him to death. Now, I don't want to buy into whatever um, Wumi said or did not say or whatever it is between both of them. I already saw one or two things um, between um, Wumi and Mubaz's father. And what I observe is this, uh, Mubaz's father likes women. Now, I'm not saying Mubaz's father has something to do with Wumi. But this uh, talk about uh, give me your friend, you know what it means, like introduce me to your friend, help me arrange this, help me arrange that. Is that what justice for Mubad is all about? Anyway, what is this thing that they discussed among themselves that prompted the lawyer, the new lawyer, to suggest that this should be settled? What exactly are they trying to settle? Is it the DNA that should be settled amongst their family? Or is it justice for Mubad? Because it's beyond Mubad's father. Is it justice for Mubad that should be settled behind closed doors? Like seriously, what is this? I want you to pay attention to this one. And uh, O da ba won ko ti lo ba baba se gbo tan ti teni so won ni lawyer ye gan gan so fun baba pe ko settle out of court e gbo baba lo so fun lawyer ye pe ko so fun baba be o da bi gbogbo won ti gba bode won ti fe fun gbogbo won lowo ko ni da fun o to so pe god of wumi yen iku lo ma pa e ko ni da fun e ko ni da fun wumi abo lori buku ni wumi ni eyin awon lori buku family E gbo ti wumi so pe to wun ba so nkan to wa la ni ohun ati baba a ma pa baba ni e pe wumi ati baba mo bad ki lo pa mo bad awon meji mo npa e a ma competition o ma arrest baba o ma arrest wumi e gba bi se so fun yin abi we ni debola se ngbo mi debola sorry not you e ba wa pe baba ki lo mo npa e ohun ati wumi ki lo mo npa e ku omo e in koto mu lawyer tun tun to se se gba lawyer yoruba nation se be gbo ti sister tenniso sister tenniso pe ba wo ni lawyer se ma advice yin pe ke fo ke fi ti leto ba wo ni lawyer se ma so pe ko set to behind the camera e gbo baba mo bad lo so fun lawyer lawyer so fun baba mo bad who does that baba mo bad awon so pe ko ma gbo wo 
Our go fede ko sheke simon. Shuba wa concern citizen. We are going ahead with the case. Baba Mubad. I shiri gbogbo yin ma tu. Mo ti sofin pe. I am not giving up. You want to go on, you want to go on my party. I'm a competition leader, you like it or not. Baba Mubad will be arrested. Mumi will be arrested. They both know what killed Mubad. Even on Fura. Money Baba Mubad is a man more more 22 years old. No, sorry, okay. Call up Badura for more. Baba Mubad, kill any at him. Mumi, your plan. Because I'm so yay. But when you know you're too too touchy, but about Johnny, me now we're picking it on safun free perekete. I share with the two of America to pay like when to unpache. I share on the two. And me now so. So if you go, but go go safun me pay my wow. But when you tell that we're full of bad, you tell so pay in white justice. But go go safun me pay. And now we're the two in America. Go for one pound, one pound where. Ko tomo to ngi biko ba shen disa woto. E goto pere le gbon baba mo bad. Hmm, disa. Ko fu baba mo bad ni. Mo to la ri. Ko da wo si nou bo bo bitan. Da wo si en ri. Che le believe. Big bo bo wai. Ani yon tu kpe mi. I gba tasok po fe. Ah, e gbon yen. Mko si ma fo jeri. Che mo gba tasok po baba mo bad. I fe lo shek ki oku. O fe lo chek bi yon stab mo bad. E mi le gbon baba mo bad di kpe. Only one fellow check it beyond one stab mo bad. E mi nan kwe kwe doktor mag ba 200,000. Mo ni toba ti redi kon sofu mi ma sen de si won. Ke gom baba mo bad di batu nye foun. Doktor ni 200,000. E wa sok po ton mo. Baba mo bad di gongo sofu mi. Boba wan family ti baba mo bad di sok po wan jon shemi ti. Ibo ni were wan wa ton foun baba mo bad di lo wo ton support ye. Baba mo bad di gongo sofu mi. O ni anti yon wukon. Oni gbogbo wo ton da fohun yin o lo le da fohun o le da gba lawyer fohun sugbon ko se fohun baba wa ri awon to e opo e baba wa ri awon to e opo e to make nkan kan ni be o wa foju won rare o wa fe ma loju bitikiri platform e je ki so bo se work mumbo i'm going to block you i'm going to block you block it and be by block multi block e she ain't bummy. And then she's supposed to play game here. She keeps suffering. She may put it in play. Oh, they go back to what they mean. Oh, what you lost all your kudi. The same thing. Don't she put me lot of lot of me. Don't be lawyer. You're bad nation. Oh, I say three way cop. But look who did not. What be see lawyer? No sorrow. Am I blame you? No. Am I blame you? You kudi oh. Am I blame you? In court, she put me lot she put. Because some people want to go back to what they mean. Là, c'est tout l'ancien plateforme, Koudi, il peut m'amarrer au Bambé. Chérie, Bobo, il peut t'y avoir un lolori TikTok, 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 il peut t'y avoir un lolori il peut s'en faire le ou ma, le ou ma promotion. On y territ tout le con au studio, yen. La tisne ni. La tisne. Bada la tisne to en Dublin. On y la tisne fait promotion. Chien bomi. Moni mo, s'en peut qu'il la tisne ma promotion. Bote mi nan wot. A wotou. Moni mo, ni ki la tisne ma promotion. Moni eje konsyon mo yinan. Chien bomi. Moni eje konsyon mo yinan. Ki la tisne to promotion. Eba love and like. Chien gomi. Mouni eje kon si yon mouni nan. Ki la ti sne to promoti yon. Chien gom. Ik ba ti mak bon. Mou de bi baba a ti e bon enjoy yon. A che tri we kon. Mouni wè e ti baba fè lò che. A o bom to fè lò kon yon. Mouni wò ti e si yon mouni yi. Mouni wò to fè yon pou baba yi. O nan ma yè ki baba yi le. A wò to fè yon pou yon. O nan chasok pou ma lò kon yon. Baba wak pa wèk pe. Ou ou kon wabwa we. A chon ou a ti la ti sne. Ou a ti sa yin. Ta ti se vun ti. Bo bon riti ba baba anko. Baba mou ba jom wakpe. En ton lon ou bak bega. En ton lon ou bak pe lo logo ko le logo. Baba. Aba jo. Aba jo. En ra anou ba. Chou ba anou yen bon mou yin lo wak. Hmm. Na wow. Che mou wak. 
because e se dada pelu omo yin igba to wa laye e se dada pelu omo yin omo yin ke o ke fe san sugbon e wo be eyan ko pe mi about 2 days ago oluhun lala e bi o de fe ma eniyan de sun mo mi gan oluhun lala oni ninu alaye ohun ri mo badi to nsukun mo badi wa so fun baba e pe daddy mi oni daddy mi e mo e pe mo ti ku ki lo de deyin ati won mi ati daro sha gba kan lo sin mi lai ti ku ati e so won yen mo wo pe no mi take alaye serious but gbogbo nkan to wa se le sin o wa je ke ru aye ba mi ara mi ngbon ni i pe se ala nti ile possible oni mo ba di suku bayi ni pe e mo e pe mo ti iku tan ki lo de te se gba kon lo sin mi baba mo ba i will tell you for free today inu to bi yin te fi so ni first statement te so igba to mo yin ku te so pe kon wo ko se nkan kan fun yin e tu bi nu omo yen wonu grave e tu yin bi nu omo yen nkan te se bi kita ni yen te se mo nu omo yen te fi long kon yin kiri te grant interview kiri like and share this video tap on the subscribe button very important baba mo bad O da bi pe en jowu Westo welcome on board my brother A lot is happening you have to be careful Westo I know you are very intelligent Westo A lot is happening I just decided to keep quiet since all these days Baba is greedy his brother is greedy gbogbo en te lo pe la ma ka e ko tomo baba o e ma wa re kiti to ko ma so pe family mi o family mi o se gbogbo yin won ti bo se je niyan o won oto o iyen ko fe wa ani ko fun baba eni ko fun wa ni evidence po won fun baba ni won era baba gongo lo so fe mi baba ni ko ko dawo kokon en to pe ra ilegbon baba ori bi gbogbo awon yan se nti ra ka ton dawo ko dawo eyo kan ko ko support baba pe lowo sugbo fe ma control o fe ma o fe ma fowo lale abe gbo mi mo ma play video ko fun mo ma play voice note ko fun yin nisin ke le mo pe baba o wa justice rara Lord o teni omo ologo lana mo gbo ti lady kan pe wole won won record e fun mi na ni asa won lady yen go won ti file ni petition i pe kan lo arrest won mi pe wo o bu baba o se pe fun baba se ma kan so ni baba so baba so pe o se baba deny baba deny petition yen o so pe won o le o won o le arrest yawo omo ohun o baba baba <laughs> Welcome back. Now, for the benefit of our international audience, I'm going to translate as I analyze it. Now, this particular blogger and also one of the spokespeople for Justice for Mubad, like every other person, but um, somehow some of them have interaction with Mubad's father or through proxies. She is accusing Mubad's father of not really sticking for justice for Mubad, but into this for financial purposes. Now, she said she wanted to include a blogger and also activist um, and a mediator called Brekete. He has um, a platform where He's domiciled in Nigeria. He has a platform where cases are dealt with. Um, and um, the man already looked into this and he said that um, he's going to do all. Now, while she was pressuring Mubat's father to take this to Brekete, she said she observed that Mubat's father, Mubat's um, father's um, brother, domiciled in the U.S. And, uh, and, and the lawyer that Mubat's father was um, working with said, no, 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 do not let us take it to break it. She said back then, she didn't really understand why they refused to kind of um, put pressure on this so that justice can be gotten. That now she has come to realize that Mubat's father didn't want to, with his team, they didn't want to do this because if they are to take this to break it, there will be no way for them to raise money, to share among themselves.
Now, according to her, it seems uh, there are some who have um, spoken to Moba's father and Moba's father team. Don't forget that there is a sharing formula, allegedly. Well, that uh, somehow they've um, concluded with Moba's father. Look, do not press this further. Let us find a way to roll this all over social media. You make money off the trend from donation here and there. And finally, we will be settling this within the family. Now, the suggestion, the, the claim came from the lawyer um, that Mubaz father is working with. I think a new lawyer now um, telling Mubaz father, you know what, let us settle this behind, you know, let's settle this in the family. Enough of this justice for Mubad, justice for Mubad. Um, justice for Mubad will definitely yield donation. But um, there are certain things, you know what, let's just settle this behind. Now, our guest is angry, saying, how is it possible? What will prompt Mubat's father's lawyer to say they should settle behind the camera? Settle it off. Let us just do this under the ground. Let us just sort this without anyone being privy to it. Like, what is this? Is this the justice that we are seeking for? Now, she brought us back to the statement of Wumi, the wicked widow, where she said that if... She used to put out all that, all the secret that she has about Moba's father and whatever it is between them. Um, a lot of people will be so angry and uh, they might uh, stone Moba's father to R.I.P. Well, I do not know what she knows, but what can it be? What exactly can it be? I just want to take that as a lame um, talk to Black Mubaz father into submission or to defame his character. That's what I want to put out as. What can she know about Mubaz father? What exactly is this? Is it about, oh, whenever he wants money, he will threaten us back then when Mubaz was alive? What, what exactly is this? Like, she's saying, if I tell you the real nature of this man, you will not see him in the light that you are seeing him. You will see him as a man who is only interested in what he can get, how much he can get, and nothing more. Like a greedy man, a self-centered man. Now, she is saying that Moba's father and Wumi should be petitioned that there is a likelihood, possibility, that both of them know why Mubad R.I.P. Now, this is coming from her, not from this platform. Now, behind the scene, there is um, a man. He is uh, Mubad's, allegedly, allegedly Mubad's, uh, um, father, brother, is domiciled in the United States. Now, according to our guest, this man has not donated a single dollar ever since um, they have been donating money and he wants to be in charge. He wants to talk. He wants to... She said there was a time that Mubaz's father needed to go to the morgue. Um, that is after... The, although it wasn't uh, possible anyway, um, that was when they were they took permission or they were told they can now come to check Mobat's body to find out or to ascertain if there is any mark. You know, we, we, we've been hearing about the fight indoor between Wumi and Mobat and that there's a possibility of him to, um, to have been stabbed by Wumi. So he wants to check and find out if there is anything um, that points to that. That she was the one that this... Mobad's father's brother in the U.S. called asking her for 200,000 Naira. That this man, even though he lives abroad, how much has he donated or imputed or given to Mobad's father? Nothing, according to her. Now, about Mobad's father's uh, music, you all know Mobad's father is a singer. He taught Mobad how to sing. Now, she said she suggested, advised Mobad's father not to go into the studio right now to begin singing and putting our record here and there even though Mubaz father got someone who was willing to promote him on a deal of 70 30 but the promotion will be free according to um this um according to what she's saying and that she suggested to Mubaz father but Mubaz father went on to do what he wanted to do now that the man is poor that he lost his son does not mean he does not have his own mind to do what he wants to do. Um, if he does it now or does it later, I, I think uh, there, there, there might be a difference in it. But she said, no, do not allow 
people who want to help you, look at you, and ridicule you, saying, oh, he's in the studio singing. You know, when Mobat's father went into the studio, a lot of people said things about that, saying, oh, why is he in the studio? Why is he singing? Oh, he's in the studio. Is that what he's supposed to do? We are talking about justice for his son. He's in the studio. I do not say anything wrong in being in the studio. That your son, R.I.P., does not mean your life has come to an end. There are certain things. You sleep, you wake, you bathe, you, you shower, you eat. You know what I mean? You do normal daily livings. And don't forget that he needs money to run around. How much is he going to get from people? Is he going to keep calling people, I need money for this, I need money for that? He's a carpenter. And from what we all found out, he's no longer active anymore in what he does. So if someone is like, you know what, let's go into the studio. This is an opportunity for you. Since, don't forget that uh, <laughs> to blow, as they always say, for you to trend as a musician or whatever it is that you do, there is always something. So the man felt like, what's the big deal about this? But to some people, oh, this man is insensitive. He wants to go to the studio to sing. He wants to make money. It's all about money. Don't forget that that was what they said at the beginning, that this man is heartless. He just threw his son under the soil. He did this, he did that. Now, she's saying that uh, that's wrong. Mubas father should have done that. Well... I don't think the man should not have done it. If he wants to go to the studio to sing, after all, he's not going to the studio to sing about uh, um, ladies, bomb bomb, and stuff like that. The song, when I listen to it, is connected to his struggle, to the pain, and the RIP of his son. So there's nothing wrong about that one. So all of this allegation here and there, I'm still going to allow you rest. Uh, yeah, and um, Damubas' father is just into this for money, running from one platform to the other just to get money from those who are ready to donate and that the man is not willing to get justice for his son, this and that. I've read comments. People say he has no job at this time. He's so busy running here and Delta Skelta. His livelihood, he needs to make money. He needs to get something done for himself. And if people approach him telling him, look, let us do this, let us do this, let us do that. Now people are talking about you. It's time for you to bounce into the industry music or whatever you can do do it so you can get something for yourself or are you just going to sit back and look and allow other people make song on yours on your child do movies or do stuff on your child stuff like that you should be able to get something and you know divergent views here and there as regards that so it's all about mobas father is not in for justice mobas father is only interested in what he can get off from people on justice for Mubad. That's what she's saying. Well, I don't know what you think about this one because it's heartbreaking. I mean, um, I, I, I don't know. You see, when you are poor, when you are poor, it's like you don't have a voice. When you are poor, it's like you don't have a voice. You, you don't have a mind of your own. You can do nothing for yourself. That's how it looks like. I mean, even... Who is going to feed this man every day? That's, that's something that we need to talk about. Is he going to wait on who is going to give me? I think the man knows that uh, whoever is raising this, raising that, he, he knows, he understands. I think he has been schooled in it. Like, look, this is how this thing works. Those that are requesting for GoFundMe, they also want to have a portion, a percentage of whatever it is that they are raising. They are not going to wake up morning and night screaming and shouting without getting something. It, it, it has always been like that. It has always been like that. They also want to get something off it. They're not going to, apart from those who willingly do not want to. They just say, okay, I'm doing this because I want to do it. I have other means of getting money. So, Mobile Swada is also trying to get something, I think. So, <laughs> some people are saying, no, this is insensitive. How can you want to get something? We're all human beings at the end of the day. I know it's painful. People want him to um, kind of, um, they don't want to, they don't want him to show that he's making anything out of this. That if he does, people will look at him like, no, this man, you're just, uh, op you're just an opportunist. You just looked at the RIP of your son and the empathy and sympathy that people showed. And now you want to make money. You are not really interested in justice for me. But that's what um, I think uh, Bookie J says saying, but we'll, let, let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's keep our fingers crossed because it is getting serious. Drop your comment. Drop your comment about this one. Like and share. See you in the next update.